Okay. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Dolores Tarver. I'm a licensed psychologist here in Georgia, and it is time for the TT Time with Dr. Tarver. It's a wellness-based podcast that is not intended to be a substitute for a relationship with a licensed mental health provider. Welcome to the last week in August. We have been so excited about this Getting Back series. In our first week, we were talking about getting back to self-care for pastors. Then we moved into getting back to self after grief and loss. Then we transitioned into getting back to being non-judgmental. Last week, we finished it out by saying getting back to purpose. And it is absolutely with excitement. I say today, we're going to be getting back to inspiration. So without further ado, let me welcome. I'm so pleased to introduce to those of you who do not know this brother, Dr. Sean Cook. Dr. Sean Cook is a mentor, counselor, speaker, and change agent. He is a licensed Christian counselor who focuses on integrating biblical principles with psychological theories to promote mental, spiritual, emotional, physical, financial, and social wellness for the total man. He holds degrees in divinity with a concentration in counseling, theology, psychology, and business leadership. He has a passion for developing well-rounded individuals who are equipped to not only have well-rounded and positive life experiences, but who can also, by their example, help others to do the same. Dr. Cook is the founder of Seed for the Soul Counseling Services and also an itinerant speaker, workshop facilitator, and leadership coach. Welcome to Tea Time with Dr. Tarver, Dr. Cook. Oh, yes. I am glad to be here. We are going to have some fun on this evening. You got to say on when you're in church. It just can't yeah, be this. Absolutely. On. You, you can't say be on this. You have to be on. Exactly. Yes. Absolutely. Be- absolutely. Mm-hmm. So we started, we started a little wait. We got to chit-chatting because that's what he does. Get to talking mm-hmm. and you forget what time it is. But I do mm-hmm. want to let you all know that Dr. Cook is actually <laughs> the organist, the musician, for my church. And so, uh, you know, I will just tell you all that one day I walked into service for pastor's anniversary and guess who was in the bulletin to be the <laughs> <laughs> presenting the message for the day. And the whole choir was like, wait, 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 what? Like we right. told, you know, I kept it for this moment. Oh, uh, no, you didn't. No, you yes, didn't pull did. it out. I did. Oh, I did. Oh. I did. Oh. Um, Cause we were looking and it says preacher, psalmist, musician, author, actor, coach, counselor, husband, father, and friend. And so now to know him, you would say, okay, I could see that. That makes sense. But we literally had no idea of all this man's gifts because he is such a humble person um, and he is such an encourager. And so that is why he is absolutely perfect to bring this word to us today. Mm -hmm. Dr. Cook, talk to us about inspiration inspiration well let's do it first of all you guys it's great to be here thank you so much dr t for the opportunity to share on your podcast it's been a while since i've done this so we're gonna uh polish up the 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 wheels for a minute get the spokes together and kind of have some fun tonight um i just want to say first of all um that it is uh, great to be here with you guys again. And in talking about inspiration, um, you guys are going to hear me use inspiration and motivation somewhat interchangeably because oftentimes they are presented similarly, but they are very different. However, we have a construct that we're going to put together tonight that I hope is going to help you guys out. So first of all, um, come on, construct. I think I think I'm gonna start with the fun stuff and then we'll get to the funner stuff. All right. We'll, okay. We'll... All right. All right. So, um, Psychologist and talking about inspiration, right? And talking about inspiration. Inspiration comes from uh, the root word, to, which means to breathe in. It means to breathe in. You inspire and then you re- you 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 respirate or whatever. So you inspire, you respirate. So you take in air and then you blow it out. So it means that you're taking something in. It means to yes. breathe in. And it's yes. often pointed towards creativity. It means to take in something that motivates you or it pushes you to behave differently. Now, psychologist Thrash and some of his friends, they put together, and y'all stay with me. I promise you I'm headed somewhere. They put together <laughs> three particular components that pertain to inspiration, three particular components. The first one is they said it's characterized by what they call transcendence which means that the individual gains an awareness of new possibilities. They gain mm. an awareness of new possibilities. So the first okay. thing I'm 
to anybody is that to be inspired is to realize that there's not only something better, but something different. So if you are stuck in a dead end, you're in a place where it just seems like there's anywhere else for you to go, to be inspired means that you can look at the same situation and see it a new way. So that's the first thing we've got to understand. To be inspired means to become aware of new, and I'm going to add even better possibilities. I, I got to drop this in there. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't know who's talking to me. I don't know who's sitting here. You may have been looking at the same job. You've been looking at the same house. You've been looking at the same car. You've been looking at the same people. You've been dressing in the same clothes. You've been going to the same grocery store. You've been hanging out in the same community center, going to the same church. And it all looks boring. And because we do the same thing, the law of diminishing returns suggests that we do not have the same um, emotional response to something or that emotional response diminishes every time we have the experience. So in in other words, if you're not cycling in new things within your experience, you're going to lose inspiration. I'm going to pause right here. Come talk fast. I'm a little hype. You know what I'm saying? I, this you are a little hype, but look, I had to drop that in. And, and please, for you all, if you have questions, drop them in. The I had to drop, drop that the message because seeing new possibilities, the same view, mm -hmm. yep. but I'm looking at it with different eyes when I'm mm -hmm. inspired. That's a word for somebody. Listen to me. It's imperative. Now, this is where this is what I do. I bridge psychology with theology. They go together. Absolutely. Folks like the marriage. Do. I have all the all the time. This this is why it's important for you to understand that renewal happens here first. It doesn't happen anywhere around you. You could change clothes all day long and still have the same attitude. You can drive different Amen. cars, still have the same behavior. You could have a new job, but if you don't change how you see things, Come nothing on, changes. But the power comes when you can get up and go to the same job and see that job a new way. And so what happens is it's imperative for us to understand that the first leg of inspiration is the fact that it's characterized by the fact that the individual has gained, they have gained an awareness of a new and or a better possibility. In other words, you see the same thing, but you see it in a new and a different way. So if you're trying to get back to inspiration, I would offer to you, and I ain't even really got into where I'm headed. I'm talking fast. <laughs> talking. But if you're looking for inspiration, I would offer to you that you go back and you look again. But look again. Did you say go look back again. and look again? Go back and look again. Look, I, I, I got these glasses. Let's look at it. You know, I, I'd had to, I had to take, I had to start wearing glasses, right? Because, you know, one day. Welcome to my one world. One night I went to sleep and I could see. <laughs> and then the next day I woke up and I couldn't. I don't even know what happened. Same eyes. They just mm -hmm. see different. So I had to have some Come glasses mm -hmm. to change the lenses. So yes, I sir. Could, yes, sir. I hate to go church on y'all, but I had to put the glasses on so I could see better. You understand what I'm Come saying? On, sir. Like Come on, sir. Come on, sir. The same on. situation. Same situation. But but how I'm seeing this situation is different. How you I'm seeing people up. is different. You got me. Come clowning. on. Over here Come on. Calling. I need for you to clown because got, that's why you that's were sick. the last one. <laughs> that, that's, that's the whole reason why I did this. I would have been much more stoic had I been second or third. But since I'm the last one, I got to, I got to. I got to do Come this. Come on. Bring it so in, Coach. You got to be prepared to look at things differently. And listen, you have the power to change the situation even if the situation doesn't change, simply because you choose to look at it different. I'm going to say that again because it sounded come a bit crazy. You have the power on, to change the situation, even if the even situation, if the situation doesn't, doesn't change. Doesn't because change. guess what? You're a part of the situation. So if you change, an element of the situation change. So in essence, therefore the it's different. They'll change differently. Oh, look yes. at that. So you got to understand it's imperative that you take the first level of inspiration and understand that inspiration is nothing more but seeing things differently. The mm. second thing they say, and I like this one, is characterized by evocation or receptivity. In other oh. words, one is inspired by something particular, and one cannot attribute um, inspiration to themselves. In other words, it's not just mm. a not just up to you. Now, I'm going to get to that in a minute because there are mm. two levels. There's somebody else that argued that it could be intrapsychic, which means the inspiration already dwell within you, or it could All be right. external. Oftentimes, we go for external inspiration. We do. We do. I'll tell you this. Inspiration can be evoked. In other words, it's given to you. You are inspired mm. by something mm. or someone. Now, for mm. those of you that are looking at me and saying, Doc Cook, ain't nobody around me inspirational. We're going to talk from a theological perspective because guess what? That's what I do. Well, you know, I do this mm. in church and I do it all the way around, but we got to bridge them. And um, understanding that if you can't find inspiration around you, I know some place where you can find it. Mm. I'm in the sir. A prop. 
you know, just for the sake yeah, of just the, the yeah. I meant to mm-hmm. that. But mm-hmm. sometimes it's imperative that we learn to look within mm. what he dwells so that we can be given what we need to see things differently. Mm. Now, while it is possible, there are some of us that are just simply uh, serially motivational just by nature. Some mm-hmm. of us just wake mm-hmm. up from. Some of us mm-hmm. just wake yep. up. Yep. Just, just, you, just good morning. Um, Y'all have known me all of about 13 minutes, and I'm pretty sure you're inclined to believe that I'm one of those people. I'm so glad. I'm very proud. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say this with my chest to tell you I'm not. I'm not. I'm not one of those people. Get up in the morning and be like, oh, I'm about to. I'm a a, 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 a habitual snoozer. Okay. Pause it. Like, just give me a minute. Give me a minute to get get myself together. You know, okay. because I'm a sequential thinker and that type of person that need to get mm. stuff in a row. I sometimes okay. paralyze. I'm sometimes paralyzed while I try to work out details. And okay. I'm one of them okay. people that like to dip his toe in the pool instead okay. of jumping right in. But that's okay. one side of me. Now, this is where okay. it gets I'm an ambivert. Okay. Okay. So okay. 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 Mm-hmm. Y'all get the hype guy right now. Yeah. But yeah. What I'm trying to make is, and I said that on purpose, I outed mm-hmm. me on purpose. Because I don't mm-hmm. want anybody to look at this and say that dude came in here on a thousand. You did come in here so on a thousand. Stay on a thousand all the time. Please yeah. understand yeah. the inspiration that you see comes from somewhere outside of me, but from someone mm-hmm. who dwells within me. <laughs> Y'all see what I'm doing? Oh, yeah, listen, I'm just, listen. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just you did that. that. You that's, did that's that. all. But so that's the second thing, and I'm pushing forward because I got something I really want to say to y'all. Okay. And the last thing is. Inspiration involves, and this is what's important, it involves what Thrash calls approach motivation, which means Mm. that someone is so moved Mm. that they feel compelled to bring their inspiration into fruition. Mm. Mm. They feel compelled, Mm. whatever Mm. they heard, whatever was birthed Mm -hmm. inside of them, Mm. whatever pushed them Mm -hmm. in an eye-seeing reality. If I was in mm. church, I wouldn't say fruition. I wouldn't say I seeing reality. I would say mm. they were looking for manifestation. Yeah. They'd be wanting to manifest what was yes. on the inside of them. So listen, okay. what are the three components of inspiration? Got three of them. They're going to lead us Go. to motivation. But the first one is the fact that it's transcendent, meaning that we mm. are into new possibilities. The mm-hmm. second one is that oftentimes inspiration comes from someone other than ourselves. Someone, mm-hmm. because we're going to speak to this and personify the divine, it comes mm-hmm. from someone other than ourselves. And then finally, mm-hmm. if it's truly inspiration, it moves us to act. It motivates us. It motivates mm-hmm. us. It moves us to mm-hmm. act. Somebody type, wherever you at, just type, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. If you really inspire, I'm going to do something. I'm going to do, do type something. Type it like I said, it. I-M-M-A. Yeah. He owe something. Not I ain't yes. going. No, I'ma. We gonna yes. be good, I'm a, good, I'm grammatically a, incorrect. Yeah. I'ma I do something. Do mm-hmm. something. That's right. Because yeah. you gotta feel it. So this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna talk about inspiration. Uh, John, Let me back up before you go. Before you go. Before wait, you I'm go. sorry. This your show. My bad. Yeah. No, you good. You good. But but I what I what I realize is because sometimes it's the little things that I need for people to to get mm-hmm. on replay. Mm-hmm. And what I heard you say is I didn't wake up like this. Mm-hmm. that's important right so somebody here mm-hmm. is struggling because mm-hmm. they are saying all of these people who are inspired who are moving who are doing things who are manifesting things they woke up like that mm-hmm. they already have that in mm-hmm. them i'm over here trying to figure that out mm-hmm. so i'm not sure how to manifest that because i don't believe it so i can't behave mm-hmm. I- <laughs> I'm I skipping ahead. In. I'm getting to you. Are, you are. You, you, okay. You, you, all right. But, but, okay. It, but, but I mean, you know, I'm, I'm going to get there. It's in there. I, I got that. Okay. All it's right. Okay. But long as you put a pen in it and come no, no, back. No, no, to, no. 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 To be honest with you, okay. I threw that breadcrumb out there on purpose. I'm going to make a sandwich okay. with you. Okay. Come on in. Yeah. Make I got a sandwich. it. I'm going to be Because people are hungry. They, they hungry. They're they going to eat tonight. Yeah. I got it. So, okay. so a couple things I want to say really quick. The first thing I want to talk about is about the flow of manifestation. The flow of the flow manifestation there's a flow through manifestation and if you're waiting on me to get there you can automatically just type it comes through me that's the first thing you can say it comes mm, through it but comes here we through go me. john chapter one john chapter one we read this all the time we're gonna do two scriptures mm-hmm. tonight that's what i do john chapter one we read this all the time it says in the beginning was the word and the word was god i mean excuse me and the word was with god and the word was god he mm-hmm. was in the beginning with all with god and all things this is important all things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made. Mm. 
Mm. Something here that is very important. We're talking about come on. We're talking about mm-hmm. the fact that it awakes us to new possibilities. Mm-hmm. We're talking about the fact that it is outside of ourselves. And we're talking about the fact that it motivates us to act. I'm going to say it one more time. Mm-hmm. It awakens us to new possibilities. Inspiration comes from outside of us. And finally, inspiration motivates us to act. Those three things mm-hmm. are important. So we're going to start with the awakening of new possibilities. It's important for you guys to understand something. The beginning of everything Mm. based on John chapter one, John chapter one tells me that the word or a word starts everything. Now, I know what y'all saying. This isn't an altar call. This isn't me saying, come here. That's, That's not what I'm doing. We're going to take it out of church. Can we back it out of church for a minute? Back we, it out of church for a minute, even though they're connected. Listen, but back it on out. We in the word. We in the word. Some people don't realize that yet. Yeah. So we in the word. It doesn't have to be in the church. church. Yeah. We in the word, but we're not in church. Yeah. Uh, come on. This is what I mean. We're on Zoom and we're live streaming to Facebook. Before Zoom, was a platform where we could interchange or interact via video, audio, or a combination of the two. And before Facebook became a multi-billion dollar franchise, they were both words. Whatever kind of car you drive, before it had four wheels, a frame, a steering wheel, four doors, or two doors, a nice engine, and all the bells and whistles on the inside, it was just a word. And you know how it started. Somebody said, I got an idea for an automobile. And somebody said, what is that? And they started drawing what they saw. And what they saw was a response to what they heard. Every idea is a word. Now watch me bring this home. Come on, bring it. From a, from a, from a, from a universal standpoint, Dr. T, even you and I are words. Mm-hmm. We were spoken before we were birthed. And what we're doing now is we are displaying what was spoken about us before we could even hear it. Before we even knew. Everything, the chair that Mm. you're sitting in was a word first. The desk that your computer is resting on was a word first. The device that you probably watching me on, it was a word first. And everything, because in the spirit realm exists information. Mm. There's no flesh, there's no materials, it's just, information if you go on down in verse nine right it says that uh excuse me um it goes to let's do this uh verse four in him was life and the Mm -hmm. light was the light of men the light shines in darkness and the darkness has not overcome it it goes from being a word Mm -hmm. to inspiration Mm. Like Come on, light, light, light. So guess yes. what? If you're sitting in a dark place. I would offer that all you need is a word. Mm. And this is the thing. The word doesn't always come. Um, how am I going to put this? It doesn't always come expressive, expressing itself linguistically. That's what I'm going to say. Mm. Okay. Your, okay. Your, Break your, that your, down. Your, your, if Jung was here or if Freud was here, they would say that your subconscious sends signals to the conscious. And those uh, signals are a response, I would offer, to divine information. This is what I mean. Red car. Dr. T, what came to your mind? Actually, mine, because my car is red. There you go. So if you just went and thought about your car, red car, somebody else thought about a Toyota, somebody else thought about a Honda, somebody else thought about a Nissan, but guess what? All they heard was the word, red car. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And immediately, car showed up. Let me show you something Mm -hmm. again. If I said, we finna go buy a car, and we went, and both of us just started pointing out cars, you don't know what's in my head. Nothing. Just know the word. Mm-hmm. Specifics of said word is determined by the individual that's carrying it, which brings me down to verse 14. Brings me to verse 14. You know what he said? This is my favorite one, y'all. This is what inspired this entire thing. I was going to come on, sir. In my mind, I just run this workshops with it now. Um, verse 14 says this, and this is what we're going to land the plane for a minute. And the word became flesh. Hmm. I need you guys to understand something. Everything that God speaks, he intends to see. 
Somebody Ooh. needed to hear that. I Ooh, hope they heard. I, I that. hope they heard. We still talking Say about one more time for him. everything one more time that for him. God speaks. He intends to see. He intends to see it in you, and He intends for you to see it for yourself. Let me explain it. I'm gonna I'm rewind it and remix it. I'm gonna hand it back okay. to y'all. Everything okay. that God expresses, He intends for you to experience. Mm. Now, here's the thing. While y'all think I'm playing, we all experience somebody's expression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dr. T, you do this, you do this, mm -hmm. I do this. We do this for a living. We sit in front of people all the time mm -hmm. who are trapped in experiences that were birthed from somebody else's expression. Come on now. You come they, on now. To outrun not being any good. They're mm. trying to outrun being uh called fat when they were little and mm. that ain't anything. Mm. They're trying to outrun somebody telling them that you're gonna forever be dumb. And so even though mm. they have multiple degrees, they still feel crazy because they're experiencing the wrong expression mm. Mm. they can't mm. get out of it we all watch those shows ricky lake used to be one i used to watch mm. more yeah 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 absolutely it always baffled me dr t how an individual could be 30 and eight years old 30 not and, 30 and eight 30 <laughs> and eight years old and they would call somebody to one of these shows that bullied them at 13 13 13 yeah five years later they're still being held hostage still still in bondage for and, that. and what got me was the fact that they needed the person that locked them away mm -hmm. to let them out to be set free so they instead of recognizing they can set themselves free there we go and so oh i just showed you how i was swimming so there we go <laughs> but the point is <laughs> the point is that we all experience expression God said in his word that I, long before the earth got here, spoke the laws into existence and the world still does exactly what I said. We didn't hear him say gravity hold him down, but it holds us down. But it holds we didn't hear him say uh, law of inertia and law of this and all that kind of stuff. He didn't say it. He just said, this is what it's going to be. And then scientists figured out how it was done. That's where we get all these names and stuff from. He spoke animals into existence, all that stuff. And every day we experience expressions. You know why? Because every word that God speaks, he intends for it to become flesh. So guess what? Somebody mm -hmm. said, I got an idea for a car. And guess what? It wasn't done until that car became flesh. Now, flesh isn't mm -hmm. just skin and bones. Flesh represents mm -hmm. every tangible material that you're able to put your hands on on the mm -hmm. earth. So the wood that your table is made out of, the alloy metals that make up my MacBook that's in here in front of me, um, the lenses in my glasses, these mm -hmm. would all be considered flesh. You either have flesh or no flesh. You have mm -hmm. either or you have that which we can experience and touch for ourselves. So the mm -hmm. word, every Every word isn't finished. I'd say this: no word is finished until it's mm. expired. until it's expired. Important. That's important. That's important because we're gonna get back to inspiration. But I'm setting the construct. I gotta, I gotta, mm. I gotta set some boundaries. Mm -hmm. in. No word is complete. It's not mm. done until it's finished. Jesus said, "I send my word out, and it's gonna do what I sent it to do. It's gonna accomplish that to which I sent." And guess what he said? And it won't come back to me. That's why some mm. things, if you and they show up in your kids. Because mm, it's well, not going to come they, back. They can't come back to him. They can't come back so to him. Or, 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 I ain't going to do that. That's a little too deep. We're going to stay shallow. Or, okay. you ever had an idea? You ain't do nothing with it? You gonna all, make the cookie, all, all the time. Cookie. And then all the time. Sudden, you look on TV, dry down the street. And that like, cookie is there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I was mm -hmm. just thinking about doing that. Guess what you didn't mm -hmm. act? His word can't come back. So it came to you. Yeah. You don't want to do anything with it. If you then don't get off my street ringing look, my doorbell. Look, and then we get upset at the other mm -hmm. person that made the word be flesh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because no word is experienced unless it's experienced through somebody. Mm. Every word is to be made flesh. Mm -hmm. Now this is So I'm hearing you say that if somebody does not act on something. If you don't act, someone Come on. Somebody is. Somebody is going because whatever we feed will grow. So if I feed my doubt, if I feed my insecurity, if I feed mm -hmm. my um, mm -hmm. not believing that it's possible for me to do this because I'm engaging mm -hmm. in comparison behavior with somebody else, mm -hmm. then I'm in, I'm going to manifest that fear. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's Whereas this other person is going to manifest this idea. Yep. Into gonna a, a, They're going to bring it out. You know why? Because they don't know enough to know why it won't work. If you don't say that one more time, they they don't know enough to know why it wouldn't work, you know. And and I'm 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 out myself again. I'm one of those houses people. I'm just too smart for my own good sometimes, you know. I look at come the on, 
And I can see all million of the scenarios. And sometimes mm -hmm. it's hard to back out of all that entire million and narrow it down to the one reason why it better work. Because he mm. said Because he said it would. That's all you got to do is show up. And once you show up and start doing what you're supposed to do, everything else just kind of works out the way it's supposed to. Now yeah. I graduated to this level. I grew up. And I got to the mm -hmm. point where I said, that's just what it's going to be. Like, I ain't even, mm -hmm. I'm not moved on it. Yeah. But we all wrestle with mm -hmm. that period from hearing. Mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. But if it's true inspiration, just mm -hmm. like this, that word, it gives light. It awakens us to new possibilities. Mm -hmm. That word wasn't something that we did or something that we, uh, or that inspiration wasn't something that we caused. It was a result of what we heard or something that motivated us based on what was said. And we don't know what was said before we actually experience the expression. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. somebody, and this is what I mean. Somebody right now, you you probably were down. You're feeling some kind of way. You don't know what's going on. And God said, we're going to inspire you. You didn't you didn't even think mm. that Dr. T was going to come up with a series in August of 2023 that was going to talk about giving back inspiration. And now you need to hear this. And all of this just looks like it's by happenstance. But in reality, the word was sent out to her way at the time that she came up mm. with it, told her who to ask and all that kind of stuff. And now that word is being made flesh so that you can experience mm. all that happens around us. All of it happens around us. And so if we're talking about how to, how to not mm -hmm. only be inspired, but remain motivated based on mm -hmm. inspiration until we manifest or we realize or bring into fruition what it is mm -hmm. that we're going to have. So now we're going to head on over to where I'm going to have some fun. Okay. I had no fun over there. That was just, I was setting up. Okay. You get, you set the back, but I, you know, I, I, um, I, and I think anybody with any kind of psychology background always recognizes we have to have an operational definition, right? So I need for people to understand what inspiration is before I can mm -hmm. talk to them about how to get back to it. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Right. So you had to lay out like, mm -hmm. Hey, this is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. When I say inspiration, because there mm -hmm. were some people that came on here and much like when you said car, all of us were in different places mm -hmm. and shared so me now and shared me. Right. So now you have brought us to a universal definition mm -hmm. on which we can focus like, OK, um, and I think you have awakened in some people mm -hmm. because you 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 spoke this and I'm, a, you know, because I like to go and highlight the things mm -hmm. that some people struggle with um, and they might miss. When you're laying in your bed and you're wrestling with all those possibilities, mm -hmm. right? Because that's where a lot of us get stuck. Yep. And so sure the word is spoken, the expression is said, mm -hmm. and I'm in my bed, usually wee hours of the morning, maybe mm -hmm. uh, on that second snooze or so, mm -hmm. um, thinking about all of the ways why this can't happen yep. or I'm not ready. Yep. It's and not my time. And that's not inspiration, actually. That's more like fear. Because it is absolutely fear. Remember third, 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 third uh, component, inspiration, it yields approach motivation, which means it moves you to do something. Mm -hmm. I remember reading something one time and I practice this now and I probably got a, I'm talking about a whole lot of this in my phone and in various places. Somebody said, if you get an idea, it's uh, best that you within 90 seconds of getting it, write it down. Because you writing it down is the first step to you making it flesh. The first step. Yeah. To you it gets it out of here. That's, and that's the movement piece, right? Yep. Like sometimes yeah. there mm -hmm. has to be an action. Like you mentioned, these yep. laws of uh, like once mm -hmm. something is in motion, mm -hmm. then it's going to stay in motion until something yep. stops it. But it's if I something. never actually put it in motion. Yep. Yep. And it won't move. So me writing it. Yeah, come on. Manifestation moves at the speed of you. Mm. And oftentimes we not moving. We are uh, because mm -hmm. I'm still in my head in fear. Mm -hmm. So I haven't I haven't taken that step. Yep. Yep. And the thing is, um, if we're talking about just acting on words, Peter, come out the boat. Do you realize we never would have that miracle if he had a thought about it too long? Yeah. And when he started thinking about it, he started thinking. Exactly. But I give him this. Mm -hmm. At least he was out there. He was because he did take the step. <laughs> he did take the step. He yeah. did take the step. Out. And I will give him because mm -hmm. some times you take it and you're like, well, Look. wait. I'm let me tell you something. Steady. Let, let, let me tell you something. I preached that message. It had to be every bit of 13, 14, maybe 15 years ago. And I said his biggest mistake, as far as I'm concerned, is that we don't read where he tried it again. Mm. And for some of us, I'm just gonna pause. What, 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 what Pastor say? I'm a, I'm a part parenthetically. Part parenthetically. Mm -hmm. Shouts out Pastor Wild. Well, part parenthetically, just say mm -hmm. that for some of us, you just need to go back and do it again. Do it again. Yeah, I know you failed the first time, or maybe you thought you failed. It wasn't actually failure because mm -hmm. it was all written. written. 
Yep. Right. And like it was already written that it was going to go that way. It needed mm-hmm. to go that way because you yep. needed to have that experience first. Right. Yep. Because again, we got to lay that foundation. So you needed mm-hmm. to know what not to do yep. in order for you to yep. know what to do. But because sometimes yep. we'll get trapped in that and feeling mm-hmm. like I failed. And because mm-hmm. that little kid in me who mm-hmm. was bullied or who was told they weren't going to grow into anything or yep. who the teacher said, that's mm-hmm. not a path you need to take. That's not suited mm-hmm. for you. That little kid shows up and they're like, don't do that again. You just right. embarrass yourself. And this is this is why it's important. You just said something that's very important. I'm gonna go back and grab this and I'll move on. This is why it's important. Again, I'm just gonna take the word and I'm gonna make it universal. Come on. We ain't gonna be on Sunday from 11 to 1, not Wednesday from 7 to <laughs> right here. This is why it's important to renew your mind. Mm. Because if you wipe the slate clean, if we can have somewhat of a, you know. Uh, verbal tabula rasa and just mm-hmm. mind clear mm-hmm. you don't have to be held hostage about what they said to you when you was 12 mm-hmm. 13 mm-hmm. now for many of us i'm gonna be honest well for all of us that's easier said than done it is easier said than done much easier said than done mm-hmm. um for some of us we need help navigating that that's the reason why we got dr t's out here to help us mm-hmm. move through that But having an awareness that you don't actually have to be loosed by the person that bound you is empowering. Who? It's empowering. Speak it one more time, because they might have missed it the first couple of times you said. Say it one more time for me. Having an awareness that you don't have to be loosed by the same person that bound you is empowering. I mean, Jesus said, whom the son set free is free. free. And and I'm going to tell you, this is why I like the fact that if, if we're talking about, if we're talking about, first contact being priority right mm. Mm. you know some people some people you know kids they have a hard time moving out of things when they're adults because the first people that handled them mishandled them absolutely so whoever comes behind them they don't have the same way to priority as people mm. that handled them first and so it's just like mm. well you know you're beautiful yeah but the first dude i fell in love with said i was ugly mm. i just didn't be pretty and all that kind of yeah. stuff but what i like about god is when he talked to jeremiah he went back before everybody mm. said sir before anybody had a chance to handle you mm. i already knew who you were i already knew who you were and uh going back to john one i released the word that spoke mm. into existence so mm. in this you are my word made flesh this is why it's important to go back to the source i often mm. I, I before and i i usually do this example um about okay so i'll, I'll be talking about purpose and and, mm. and and who we're supposed to be and i'll just pull a chair out of the audience and stand in it mm. Now, for those of you that don't know, because I'm sitting down, I'm six foot seven. Right. Right. I'm already up off the ground. So if I stand in a chair, it's a little bit off the ground. It, folks looking like, what is he doing? Mm-hmm. And I can stand there long enough and talk like ain't nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. Long enough to where I feel the room getting uncomfortable. Like, yeah, how- they like that. I don't, yeah, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> and then I will say, just like this chair, it wasn't purpose to be a stool. But for the sake of this example, I want to show you how people who didn't create you can misuse you for their purpose. And not only do they misuse you, they will also mislabel you. If y'all don't throw your virtual fans. I'm just saying, and many of us have accepted identities that never belonged Mm. to us. Mm. Given us to us by people that did not create us and did not know what we are intended for. So if, 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 if they don't know who you are, you, we always label and place people based on our need for them. Oops, say that. I don't even know how I got over here, but I'm gonna stay here I, for a minute. Stay I'm here, because it always goes where it needs to go. Somebody, somebody need to hear. Say that one more time. We always label people based on our need for them and who they are to us. This is why when you go to a funeral, like I like to go to funerals and I like to hear when they say, we're gonna have reflections from a son, a, a dad, a yeah. co-worker, a friend, because you see different faces of people. Now, everybody tells stories based on their personal interactions with folks, but people will always categorize you based on their need for you. So this is what I mean. If you have connected yourself or you've given someone the authority to label you that is small in their thinking anyway. Mm. If they're the type of people that need to be the biggest in the room, mm. default, they're going to make you small. And so there are many people that walk around and, I, and I'm, I'm going to say this and I'll move on out. 
you know, I am a minister in the Lord's church, so this is in-house speak. Many of us have found ourselves sitting under leaders who have this syndrome. And so you can come in and you don't work hard for everything you got. And the first thing that they do to set the precedence of leader and follower is they strip you of everything by telling you you're no good. You got mm. this, but that isn't mm. anything in the sight of God. And mm. you've been dirty and they pull up all this stuff that God isn't even thinking about. Mm. And so if you allow this person to put you in a bad place, you've now given them the authority to release you from it. And so then we act and do everything. Some people can't even pick what grade of gas to buy because somebody told them that their decisions before them was messed up. And so mm. I know I have to be here because I hear it in this ear. There's somebody that's going to either hear this or they're hearing it now. And the only reason why you aren't inspired is because you left a church in a bad way, knowing you were supposed to, but you still hear that voice. Mm. Wrong. You still hear that voice telling you, mm. you right. You still hear that voice telling mm. you, you hear that voice telling you this and right. And so because you keep hearing that tape, you can't see any good out in front of you. I want to offer that Come you're on. walking away from that. Look, every day that you go forward, that voice is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. But I also want to tell you, if you allow me, ain't no wrong with you. Ain't no wrong with you. Yes, I sir. Mean, you could drop it. I'm going to be honest with you. You could drop it right now. Ain't no wrong with you. You good. Trust me. You, you ain't done nothing wrong because your light's still on. You just got a promotion. So now you know I'm talking to you. Um, everything going well. They're going to hit you up to the hit Dr. Yellman after me when you hear this. So we'll know. Um, everything going well for you. So mm -hmm. ain't nothing wrong with you. You ain't got to make nothing right or nothing because you didn't do anything wrong. You just made a mistake of trusting small minded people. Mm -hmm. We are carrying around these mislabels, carry mm -hmm. around these mentalities that have been forced on us. And we can't come off from under that. So we're not inspired, which is why it's important for us to look again at certain things. But the first thing you need to look at is yourself. You've got to give yourself permission to be great. You got to give yourself permission mm. to be free. You got to give yourself permission to move differently. You got to give yourself permission to say, you know what? I'm good. I'm all right. Ain't no wrong with me. You know, look at you different. And I promise you things are going to change for you. The different eyes. Different eyes. That's 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 mm. all okay. Because remember, that's all inspiration is. Inspiration can be external. It could be simply you hearing my voice. It could be you listening to Tea Time with Dr. T and catching a, a, a inspirational story or something that says, you know what, I can do that too. Or it could just simply be you being inspired because it was darkness around you, and all of a sudden you get a word that lights mm. up. Mm. I don't care what anybody say. The right word will change everything. And it really will. It really it it absolutely will. will. It will change everything. Like it you, will resonate in your spirit. It will but, sit. Yes. It, and and, and it will linger. Down. It and will linger. You won't down. be able to let it go. Nobody will put that light out for you. Like nope. it will. Nope. Nope. I, nobody will bring yeah. you down. I, nobody will bring you down. So I'm going to move real quick. Go ahead. Hit Matthew 13. Okay. So my inspiration, we still talking about the word, right? And we, now we're going to get to the motivation and getting back to it, sticking with it. Um, what I want to talk about real quick is not only getting inspired. We always talk about how you get inspired, but now I want to talk about staying motivated. My Lord. Mm -hmm. Talk about staying motivated. Mm -hmm. um, this would normally be if it was in church, it'd be enemies to manifestation. But now we're just going to talk about, you know, if you're not motivated, you're not going to manifest. So we just want to stay motivated. Matthew mm -hmm. 13, chapter one, I mean, excuse me, verse one talks about parable of the sower. Jesus said, man, when I sow, he threw seeds everywhere. Some of them hit the wayside. Some of them hit um, thorn, uh, thorny ground, stony ground. Some of them hit thorny ground. And then some of them fell on good ground. Then he said, what does this mean? He told the story. He said, well, immediately when it fell to the wayside, the bird came, snatched that right up. Then said the one, um, the second ground, it fell and, um, you know, it sprang up pretty quick. But because it didn't have any earth to root in, once it sprang up and the sun hit it, it died. The next one said it sprang up and started looking like it was going to produce something. But then thorns came and choked it and the seed mm -hmm. didn't die. They said the last one, on. good ground. And it fell from good ground and produced 30, 60, and, and 100 fold good stuff first thing i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna start from the back and work from to the beginning first thing i need you to understand is again everything that god expresses he intends for you to experience all of us should be producing something based on what has been presented to us come on production because we're not wired to consume mm. consuming is always short-lived mm. all diminishing returns you 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 you, you ever know those people that just have a shopping addiction 
Mm-hmm. You ain't got to, you ain't, first of all, you ain't got to step on my toes. I, right I knew you were going to have that, but you, not, just, not, you, you got no, on control. Just, you, you it's, got it's, on real, control. it's real personal. It's real personal. <laughs> go, go on. I'm going to hear this word. But, but what I'm saying is, you know how, it, it, it's never enough. It's never enough. You get you yeah. one pair of shoes, you need another pair. Yeah. You, if, you if you're trying to fill a hole with it, it, it's it not will work. never, that, and that's the point I'm, never that's be the point I'm trying to make. It's because there's some people that they know how to manage it, but when you're producing, it gives you a rush. You wake up. Yeah. To give yeah. birth, wake up to take mm-hmm. care of the kids you created. You wake mm-hmm. up to take care of that business you're doing, mm-hmm. and you see people do extraordinary stuff because they got to keep alive what came out of them. Because remember, mm-hmm. every word has to work through somebody in order to be experienced in the earth. Mm-hmm. Everyone, everyone, mm-hmm. we're not wired to see what goes on in the spirit realm, but mm-hmm. we're wired to respond to it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Ooh, where is it coming from? We're wired mm. to respond to it. We see the results of what was spoken. Yeah. But everything has to come from somewhere. It has to come through somebody. So that's what this is about. So we already say all of us, we want to be good grounds. When I say good ground, we want to be good ground. Put in the chat, mm. I'm good ground. If you want come to, on good ground. Now you put 30, 60, 100, whatever you're going to produce. Mm. I don't care whether you feel it or not. Just put what you want. Put, put who you want to be because we're all supposed to be producing. And as a result mm. of being productive, you can also consume a little bit. You know, you want to eat what comes from your yeah. vineyard. Sometimes you just don't want to eat all of it because you get drunk. Mm. There's a story in the Bible mm. about that. That's a whole nother thing. So watch this. The first one. To be inspired, not only to be inspired, remember, third component of inspiration is that it yields approach motivation, which means it moves us to behave differently. Mm. The thing about it is there are many of us that can't be motivated based on what we heard because we don't understand what was said. The first ground said the the, uh, birds came and snatched the seed away immediately. You know why? Because the people that heard it didn't understand it. There has to be a certain level of Mm. Mm. I can't expect you to grab mm. and you don't even know what I said the people that heard it did not understand, understand. so they didn't hold on to it mm. you hold on to it. it can't have any value to you if it doesn't sink in you that's the reason why I did this entire whole thing before we even got started because I want to make sure you understood the words mm. that were coming out of my mouth or if mm. not you were just going to be like hey dude we're crunk what do you say I don't know. It was about inspiration and motivation. <laughs> back to what you remember. Because we will do that. We will thing. do that. You're not say anything I say. You're going to go back to the last thing you understood, which could be nothing. On it. And that's what you're going to call recall. We mm-hmm. don't retain. We don't retain information that we don't understand. That's right. That's how it works. You got it. You have to digest. Mm-hmm. So the first thing you have to do is you have to get to a point to where you're no longer ignorant, but you understand not only what's been sown in you. This is where the why is birth, but also what it means for it to come out of you. Because mm. everybody, why this one. matters? Everybody, why does one. it matter? There you go. Everybody, yeah. got one. like you got one. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But the oh, why, absolutely. The why came from you understanding what it was you were producing, and there yeah, are a lot did. of people that drop that kind of thing because they don't understand. Like I, I got, I got, I got, I got like people that do all kind of amazing stuff, right? Like there's one friend they like dealing wellness, so that's 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 their thing. Like they be out here like making sure people feel good. But they know that their why is to make sure that people, specifically our people, eat right, live right, do right, mm-hmm. so that they can be the best versions of themselves out here. So they try to have themselves on that. Like, that's the thing. What you eating? What you doing? Like, that's how they move. And there are mm-hmm. other people that do that. My why is to make sure you understand mm-hmm. specifically um, what could often be considered complex church concepts. Mm-hmm. Very mm-hmm. simple. When I'm a cognitive clergyman, you know what I'm saying? I'm a thinking theologian. Like, you got to, this got to make sense. So, mm-hmm. everybody, you have to understand what's being sown in you and not only understand what's being sown in you, but this is where the why is birth. Understand what it means when it comes out of you. Because if you do, mm-hmm. you won't stop it. You won't stop. To you produce. won't, if you, because you know how much it means. And you don't have a full understanding if all you know is you're going to make bank. Yeah, because that is not, you know, if you talked about the purpose and the calling, that's not your, your purpose isn't to make the bank. Exactly. That's yeah. not why you're there. That's yeah. not your why. Exactly. You know, that may come along with it, mm-hmm. but that is not the actual why. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And most people that are truly inspired, they don't work for the return. They work for the results and the results yield the return. Mm-hmm. So first thing, I'm gonna move on. I'm trying to get there. Okay. The second thing is, and this is where we were talking, remember we put that pin He's like a lot of people, they be mm-hmm. like trying to get in they, 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 what you do when you got to pick it back up and that kind of stuff. This is what we're talking about getting back to inspiration. This the second one is my favorite one. This is my favorite ground out of all of them because this is where I found most people live. 
Now, okay. Gabriel head nod to the wellness people, so I'm gonna stick right there with the wellness and weight loss and do anything. I always use this example. You ever seen anybody do a weight loss challenge? All the time, I've done. I'm gonna mm -hmm. do weight loss challenge. Mm -hmm. And what happens for three to five days? Oh, I know I'm gonna do this, cause mm -hmm. tell my oh yeah, I'm hyped, pump, oh, ready, I'm hyped. especially by some money myself. involved. I, I, I could just eat watermelon, and what is that? <laughs> watermelon? I could just eat watermelon for the rest of my life, and I'm gonna get you know what I'm saying tight and chiseled. And I mean, I know I, I used to hear people do it all the time. Where I just know that when I ain't doing something, I know the guy he like intermittent fast, and he swear he do it 23 hours and a half a day, and you don't. But okay, but my thing is, we're all hype when we start a thing. We are hype when we start. And that's what the stony ground was. If you notice what he says, what it fell on the ground and it sprang up quick. Mm -hmm. But once time passed and it got tested, he said, because it had no earth. There was no roots. Can't root, no roots grow in that. It couldn't survive. I take issue, not personally. I just pause when I see people mm -hmm. that get real excited about something and they run with it. Mm -hmm. they haven't counted any cost of what it means to sustain it because quick results don't equal lasting results they don't they just quick results they just quick so for some people you may be a little um you may need to get back to inspiration and motivation you might need to pick yourself back up simply because you moved without counting mm. Mm. So you ain't gonna build a house he needs to sit down Make sure he got all the materials he needs mm. so that when he started building, he don't look crazy to everybody else because he got half a house. Mm. There are many of us, you didn't fail. You just moved too fast. Mm. And so now you looking and you feeling bad because you only got half a house and it didn't go the way you thought it was. You told everybody this was going to be and everybody looking at you crazy and you shame. Mm. But can I, can mm. I offer to you? We talking about getting back to inspiration. Come can on, come on, you? come on, help somebody. At least you got half a house. At least you got half the house. So guess what? That's one half you ain't got to build. Yeah. Now I just got to get the other part up. So guess what? Even if you start over, you don't start from scratch. No, because I moved. I did move. Look, I'm finna mess with somebody. You start from stop. Mm. Sir. Mm -hmm. Sir. I know. I know. That's how I felt when I heard you start. From start. You, you start, start from not from the beginning. You don't start from. Before the beginning, you start from where you stop. Where you stop. So all you got to do is pick up where you left off. And you can do that tonight, you can do it tomorrow, you can do it the next day. Mm -hmm. And just all back up again. That's how you do. But those mm. people are the emotional ones. Mm. Usually when I hear a crowd, people start talking, I can use a tell. You ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to do nothing. You ain't going to do nothing. And it'd be like this one person in the back. Mm -hmm. saying nothing. When it's just all listening. Said, taking when it it's in. All done, they sitting there thinking. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm, gonna yeah. do, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need this. This is the reason why before we start, if I ain't got no horn, if I'm gonna do something, you just find out after it's done. Like, ooh, you ain't gonna hit me broadcast. Oh, I'm about to turn. Mm. None of that. None of that. Mm. Wait on it. You know, you know how you're gonna know I was building a house when I because you're gonna it. see the actual house when, built. When, when I open it up, yeah. I take yeah. pictures. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Like, go do yes, yes, when you gonna where the house come from? Exactly. Man, that cook house. Man, he ain't even telling nobody you building a house. That's how I operate. Mm -hmm. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because I don't get excited until it's over. I don't get excited mm. to myself. I, I have so a see the product. No disrespect to anybody with what I'm about to say. I'm only talking about me. I don't celebrate kindergarten graduation. Now I'm gonna throw some. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I am ai am ai am ai am do not even, even have anything to throw. My baby girl's seven. She's seven, right? Mm -hmm. We did a little something for her, baby. Aim mm -hmm. high, keep going. But mm -hmm. until she tell me different, I'm trying to have another doctor cook. And stopping at pre K is not it. Like she done did her thing, ain't working. That's not it. That's mm -mm. not the one. That ain't, that ain't working. I'm gonna be like, you did good, but let's keep going. Yeah, you gonna have people ready to fight us because I don't. I, know, I don't, I'm I don't believe. I ain't gonna stop them. I'm with you on that too, all right? But they're gonna be like, don't, don't, don't come for us. Don't but come for us. But my point is, do what point works point for you. You're not finished. Yes. Until you actually see the fullness of what it is that God said. And in fact, that's a beginning. It's, it it's really is. It really, it really is a beginning. It is it the really beginning is. of your journey, not it the really end of it. It's not the end of it. And what happens yes. is oftentimes we've gotten so used 
to the back and forth that comes with stopping and starting, starting yeah. and stop, stopping and starting, stopping and starting. Mm -hmm. And it is perpetuated in church because we talk about one thing on Sunday, not at but at a at a Hosey Chapel CME. Shouts out to Pastor Wally. He's prolific. He do his thing. So not not Pastor Chris, just in case anybody gonna go back and be like Cook said, no, we that ain't what we said. But we do it in church. Why we gotta start again every Sunday? Yes. Yes. Why, why do we have to take you back to yes. take you two steps forward every Sunday? Yeah, yeah. Why can't we build off of where oh, we left? Yeah, yeah. Because that's really the, the word mm -hmm. of God comes absolute. Mm. It comes full of everything that it needs. And just like a carpet, it unfolds over time. Mm. And many of us keep rolling the carpet back up, mm. rolling it back out again. You ain't got to do that. Wherever you stop, keep pushing. So mm. for those of us that need to get back to inspiration, this is what I will offer. This time when you start, motivate yourself by counting the cost. Mm. Understanding that, um, is it Vroom that has the expectancy theory when you start talking about uh, 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 theories of motivation? There are three, mm -hmm. expectancy, mm -hmm. instrumentality, and valence. Expectancy says that you believe that you have what it takes to do what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. In other words, you ain't gonna start a thing if you don't think you can finish it. Right. The second one is you believe that if you are successful in what you're doing, you're gonna get a reward. Mm -hmm. Many of us ain't gonna do anything if it ain't something in it for you. And then the third one is you believe that the reward you're gonna get is worth the effort you're gonna put in. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you how Paul talked about Rome's theory. Paul said, for I reckon that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory that will be revealed in us. Now, let me bring mm -hmm. it down to your house. If you're trying to lose weight, you can't eat everything. You can't. Uh, I've tried. Do you know how many work. four Sundays I walked out of church? I ain't even do it for the Ephraim tribe and, and didn't get a cupcake. You know why? Because the suffering of me denying that cupcake ain't worthy mm -hmm. to be revealed to the body I'm sculpting mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. You, you got to turn something down. To you get do. You can't. So, yep. The reason why I'm saying that is because it's important for you to understand that the reward is going to require some discipline and some sacrifice. Mm. And hardship should not cause you to lose. It shouldn't cause motivation to wane. Mm. It should actually inspire you to keep going because it's going to get hard at some point. Everybody go out of town. Yeah. excited when you first leave and you do a few hours, you get bored for about them three mm. or four in the middle. And then you get really excited when you start seeing the lights and you're close to the thing. Mm. The beginning and the end is always the most exciting. The Stony Ground people didn't understand that. And so when it got boring, they got left. Mm. So for many of us, you got to be prepared for the low points. Because guess what? Guess what burnt the root up? Test, temptations, trials. Mm. Stuff that came because you changed, not to stop mm. you from changing. It came mm. because you changed. Because you changed. Your stomach hurt and you're going through withdrawals because you're not eating the donut. Mm -hmm. You call for it the moment you decided to do something else. I'm moving on. Thorny ground is my other favorite. I'm trying to get that. I see what time it is. Yeah, 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 you see what time it is. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry about that. I've just been talking the whole time. Um, that's good. all right. Go ahead. Go I'm ahead. good for part two if we had to do that. But, you know, Go so ahead. this thing, the thorny ground, and this is one of my favorites. It said it started bringing up earth, right? And this was a, this one is very important. I want to make sure I say mm -hmm. this. It's very important. Yes. It bringing up earth. And then it said thorns came and choked it. Now, that Jesus categorized it. He said, mm -hmm. it's the cares of this life and the deceitfulness of riches. Now, without being that specific, I'm going to say that it was simply distractions. Mm. Now, this is the reason why I'm saying it that way, because I don't want to make the cares of this life bad. Now, specifically mm -hmm. in the kingdom, because it was an evangelistic parable, he's, of course, mm -hmm. talking about not being being distracted from the prize of heaven and allowing the cares of his life and the and risks to pull you out of path. I understand that. This is what I'm talking about. The fact that in life, your kids are a focus. Mm -hmm. This is important. Mm -hmm. Your kids are a focus. Your husband is a focus. Your house is a focus. Your job is a focus. These things are things that you need to survive. But when inspiration comes, it eclipses all of that and you now have a new focus and if this is your focus you run the risk of these things becoming a distraction not many people left that business because they had to take care of home oh yeah you know how many people stopped writing that book because they had to go to work you, you know on I my street a lot 
Dr. Cook. I'm going to need you to get, get off my street. There's some other people's houses you can stop by. Can you, can you get look, off of look, my look, porch? Look, we just talk about throwing. That's it. We just talk about throwing. Then this is the thing. Here, here, here's how we do it. Because you can't throw the house away. You can't throw your family away. You can't throw your job away. Guess what you got to learn? Balance. And most of us don't realize you have more time than you think you do. Think about how much time you spend with that it, thumb. You, uh, wasting. Wasting time. Doing this. And Absolutely. the thing about that is it puts you in such a mental state that time goes, yeah. you know, it's flowing. So next thing you got to do, if you want to maintain motivation, you got to be balanced. You got to set time to rest. You got to set time to think. You got to set time to do this. You got to set time to do that. You got to set time to do this. But guess what? When you have them all balanced, everything becomes the focus. And that inspiration, that motivation, that end result can still stay on task and come that goal. Mm -hmm. And I already did the fourth one, which is staying grounded so that you can produce what you're supposed to. Dr. T, I'm a hush because I've just been talking. Man, you have, just, but you know, and, and the thing sorry. is, so for everybody in this series, um, it is, it, and I tell people they ain't got like five mini sermons mm -hmm. um, because you all are so passionate and so excited and you're delivering these words to people. And, and this is what the ministry is. This is what my ministry is. Mm -hmm. um, the mental health um, and spiritual health are connected. They're mm -hmm. intertwined. You can't have one without the other. Agreed. And so people needed this word. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and the reality is, and, um, you know, we talked about you're such a humble person. You're like, I'm just going, you know, I'm I ain't going to just <laughs> let you know all the right but, right. right. but but you needed to give this word. I didn't need to give this word. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes um, I'm only here to give the platform and I yeah. step back and mm -hmm. let the person who, who God and God absolutely mm -hmm. said needs to be on the show. You pick this date. <laughs> I mm -hmm. didn't pick it's this true. date. It's you true. pick this date, right? It's like, true. so this isn't by happenstance that mm -hmm. it is this way. So I've learned that, you mm -hmm. know, God don't need my help. Mm -hmm. So if I get on that the way, um, mm -hmm. you can do God will be able to come on now, come mm -hmm. on now. Right. And so um, somebody needed to hear everything you said all of these points that you have made have been very important because people are trying to figure out why do I keep not succeeding mm -hmm. I know that I've been purposed I know that I've been given gifts I know that a word has been spoken into me but mm -hmm. I keep getting stuck and you just gave somebody mm -hmm an opportunity to see why they keep getting stuck. And so mm -hmm. you helped to release them. You told them they didn't need anybody to set them free. They could set themselves free. Mm -hmm. That's right. So in doing that, you have done what you have been called to do, but tell the people how they can get in touch with you. If you have, we, I know you've got some, you know, you don't like to let folk know, but if you yeah, Google say, Dr. You know, Sean I, Cook, there's a lot of stuff out there. So might, tell the people like where they can. Like, um, I'm going to be honest. The main, the main platform that probably gets any sort of visibility or attention is going to be on Facebook. So it's going to be facebook.com forward slash Sean.cook dot thd i think is what it is you can look me up the rest of them are somewhat sunset because we kind of you know regrouping and put some things together regrouping, um, right? so but it's still a good that, word it doesn't matter when it was exactly right? and, like I still, still a, and i'm gonna be honest with yeah. you you can find me on facebook or you can email me at dr sean cook at comcast.net i do still from time to time do uh leadership training workshop training and other facilitative teachings um, as it pertains to leadership, coaching, and personal development. So if you send me something that works with the schedule, we can definitely get that on there and going. So again, Dr. Sean Cook at Comcast.net. I would love to connect with you guys in that particular format. It's kind of where my passion is right now. It's kind of where I'm hot at. So, um, you know, if you want somebody to come out and, you know, run a series or something, you know, a month for Bible studies or, you know, leadership workshops or something like that, by all means, reach out to me. That's my wheelhouse. Um, it's one of the things I love to do. And then we'll be connected so that when we start this itinerant ministry again, we can run it that way as well. But um, we definitely, go. Dr. T, thank you so much again for the opportunity to come sit here and chat with you and with your people and carry on this conversation. Thank you so much, Dr. Cook. Um, everybody, we will be continuing next month uh, with a new series uh, mm -hmm. because we're going to be talking about hope dealing. Um, so I know that you all grew up. Y'all know about dope dealing, but we're going to get mm -hmm. into hope dealing next month. And um, we're, as we're focusing on September is Suicide Awareness and Prevention Month. And there are a lot of people who are feeling very hopeless. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're going to be getting at um, where hope floats. So yeah. stay tuned for uh, further episodes of Tea Time with Dr. Tarver. You can get me at Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and your favorite listening platforms. Everybody have a good night. Thank you so much, Dr. Cook, for coming Thank to you share again. your mm -hmm. ministry with us this evening. Everybody be well. All right. Have a good one, guys.